First Lady Jill Biden is positive for COVID-19 and she's staying at home to recover while President Biden goes overseas. ABC's M. Wynn has more from Washington. Overnight, First Lady Jill Biden testing positive for COVID a year after she last battled the virus. The White House says the 72-year-old is experiencing mild symptoms and will remain at the Biden's home in Delaware. The president, who is not with her, has tested negative. It's good to be almost home. Yesterday, the president campaigned in Philadelphia, and he's set to travel to India and Vietnam on Thursday. The White House says Biden, who will turn 81 in November, will receive regular testing and monitoring throughout the week. Both the president and first lady tested positive for COVID last summer, and each experienced rebound cases shortly after. Both experienced only mild symptoms and were treated with the antiviral medication Paxlovid. The first lady's diagnosis comes amid a COVID COVID summer surge with hospitalizations and deaths up nearly 20 percent in recent weeks. Now we're living in this a bit of a fantasy world where mm. we're pretending that COVID is not relevant. Last week, Dr. Deborah Burks, a member of the Trump COVID task force, warned that people were still at risk. There is a lot of COVID out there and we're not testing for it and we're not telling people to get tested. A new round of booster shots is expected later this month, but it's unclear how well they'll protect against a new variant that has been detected in at least five states. And with millions of kids now heading back to school, the surge could grow. Some health care facilities in New York and California have reinstated mask mandates as a precaution. As for the First Lady, the last time she and the President were known to have been together in person was Saturday when they surveyed storm damage in Florida and returned to their beach house in Delaware. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.